Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I am Book Speed Meat Factory, and with me is my dear friend Nick. Hi Nick! Hi John, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, my friend. How are you? I mean, I'm just going to ask you again, how are you for the second time? Uh, folks, we are going to actually finish Frederick Pohl's Gateway, I promise. I promise. I promise. Look, okay, Audio Eric and the Earl of Chesterwick, two wonderful people, their bedtime is 10.30, Nick. We have an hour and 15 minutes to beat this game before they go to sleep. We have we have a deadline. We have a deadline. It must be done. Sakura, how are you today, my friend? It's good to see you. Yeah, um, like to yes. So, what did I name this? Was it upsetting? It's Stygian Loom. Fork? Why did you do fork? I don't remember. I don't know either. Oh, God. Um, hold on. Can we can we go back to a earlier save? Why? Please, because I want to I want to go back to like when we begin this portion. See what's on fork. Or maybe we are. What's fork? What's fork? Restore fork. Post capitalist of nightmares. The the ballroom. Well, I guess. Yeah. Well, hold on. So yeah, do the so. Okay, I'm swell. She hit forty in the next couple hours. Oh, nice Sakura. Woo. Greetings, Earl. It's a pleasure. I promise we're gonna beat this game. 
tonight for you before I your bedtime. This part making me very angry, and I was also tired so and grumpy. So I, yeah, I want to tell you that, that that's exactly it. We were feeling rushed last stream to beat the game, and then it just kept uh -huh. kind of going, and so that added to our uh -huh. irritation at no fault of the game. We set this precedent. Oh, no, no, no. I, saw, the I saw the big titty ladies, and I got pretty peeved. I was like, now we're literally padding up the game. We're Earl? putting socks into the proverbial... Earl wants a 30 second synopsis. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give Earl the synopsis here, Nick, and then we can air our grievances. Okay. So, again, let's start it off. We won a lottery to become a prospector uh, for the intergalactic cosmos on an alien space station known as Gateway, where we take an alien ship and go to these different areas to gather artifacts. We discovered an ancient He Chi, which is the name of the aliens, computer that had talked of why they disappeared which was there's a, an evil uh sentient race known as the the assassins that once uh spacefaring uh spacefaring species uh make enough noise in the universe they go in and wipe them out completely and so we need to activate a defense system um, so we had to go to these four different planets and activate all the defense systems. Um, and then we learned of a, the final thing, another station out there in the cosmos that, uh, needs to be activated, which we are on right now. And what actually happened was the Hichi were about to activate. This is more than 30 seconds by the I know. The Hichi were about to activate this defense mechanism to, to cloak themselves from the assassins, but at that point it was too late. The assassins are uh, programs. They are they're software. They're not a physical being. Um, they are robots and such. And um, they had already infiltrated the computer system. So if they were to activate it, it would do nothing and wipe them out regardless. So they decided to not activate it at all, still get wiped out by the assassins in hopes that somebody in the future would be able to discover their stuff, find this defense mechanism, and destroy the, the infringing assassin software that is inside of this defense mechanism, um, and then be able to activate it and, and subvert this de ultimate destruction. And so we, using um, VR technology are now inside of a construct by the assassins in that space station, in that in that uh, defense mechanism that's trying to keep us from activating it and stopping them. And that is the first, and it's a various stages so far. The first stage was this ballroom full of beautiful women and gambling and everything that we need. But we learned through our VR training. All we need are beautiful women and gambling. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's kind of what they, they they constantly talk about. So we learned through our VR training, how do you dis, uh, cause a VR system to crash? So this is a text-based VR trap, exactly. How do you make a VR instance crash? And it's by doing something that subverts the expectations of the programming, doing things that can create contradictions, doing things that, will, uh, uh, that it wasn't programmed to do, and these sorts of things. We learned here in the ballroom, what we needed to do um can you go let's see i think it's uh hit enter and go let's see go east yeah that's ball throw okay uh yeah, go the ball throw right now we can't do anything as far as i know we need to go to the one where we put it yeah go west it. yeah and then go south also to let everybody know we do have a this is a charity month uh the combat king wonderful person um has set up a wonderful charity organization to help uh uh called the streamers against child abuse where we raise funds for uh different charity organizations every year in the month of april for uh and this year it's going towards a local organization out of ypsilanti michigan called ozone house which provides food and housing and support systems for children who are victims of homelessness um this very much targets a lot of uh kids who are LGBTQIA+, um, who have been cast out by their families, to provide them safety and shelter 
and a foothold in this world so that they can actually succeed. So if you're ever interested in giving any money to this wonderful organization, I really hope that I think I got the alert box fixed this time. Fingers crossed. Let me know. Um, if it didn't, uh, you can donate here. The Combat King, the person who set this up, has a $4,400 goal. They will commit to a 27 hour long straight stream if they do so. I know. Um, and Nick, I have something very special to ask. So can wait, you stop, please. You're going too way too fast. Can you not go to the, you can't go to the place yet because you didn't. Uh, you need to have enough money. You need to get some money first. And because there's a crowd blocking the one that you need to go to. So you need to actually see everything. That's why I said go to the next one. Go to Fork. Restore Fork. Please. Because we also have a time limit. Yeah. We have only so much time. So go to Fork. Where did Fork this do? This is powering my experience in this game by a lot. That's oh, on you. Come on. That's fine. That's fine. Go south. That's why we called it fork. What do you mean that's on me? This is this is low. No, this isn't this low. Is why low. is this low? Tell me why this is low, Nick. Because come on. Okay, now go south oh, for me, please. Lazy. Why is this lazy? Look at it. Do I need to explain? <laughs> it's lazy. I don't understand. Tell me why it's lazy. Explain. Explain. The gratuitous boobage, sir. The whole point is to tantalize you, Nick. It's a construct by the assassins in order to make you want to stay here. It's and trying also to... a construct by the the people who assume that that would be something that I would find entertaining. Well, typically, Nick, their audience at this time they knew know. that sex sells. It's in the early 90s. <clears throat> in, but Nick, Nick, I want an honest opinion here. All right, <clears throat> this isn't like, if you think that this is rough, you're gonna hate the spellcasting series. Oh my goodness. Right. Spellcasting has a naughty mode. Where you can turn that on and everybody gets slutty. Everybody. The game bot reaches up to the wheels. I mean, mostly, I, I, I just, I find this very gratuitous. Yes, Earl, spellcasting 101, 201, and 301. Um, but, I will say this about the spellcasting series is that one, I very much enjoy it regardless of the sultry nature of it. Two, <clears throat> naughty mode is, is not mandatory. And three, we've already done this part, so don't mind us. We're just trying to get actually to this next point. Um, and, and three, uh, the spellcasting series, I loved Earl. I love spell, I, my first text adventure game that I ever beat on my own was spellcasting 201. And that made me look up Steve Moretzky, which led me to A Mind Forever Voyaging, which led me down that rabbit hole in love for parser-based games, like text, really pure text games, and love them to death. So what we did here, to give you guys a, a quick synopsis, because we're just trying to play catch-up. All right, Nick, let's stop here and take a mm -hmm. second. So we were put in this assassin construct. Um, it was the inception of my love, exactly, Sakura. Um, we in this construct and there are these gambling games and no matter what you can't lose and there's a certain booth that we have to go to that we couldn't at the moment because we didn't have enough money which is the wheel of fortune and it's just insert your card to pick a number and we'll go uh, and it'll always be your number but if you insert the card twice into two different numbers one of them has to lose which creates this this conflict and it's a big problem the conception used for not a th not thing in a thing in a thing exactly um and that's going to cause a dissolvement of this particular contract and lead us to the second stage which is where we're going now which is hell let's go nick we can start reading this after this point once we move on to hell and then we're going to save read by all means tendrils of smoke swirl about around you and gradually coalesce into the blazing wall of flame through the inferno you see a demon behemoth sitting on a mammoth throne the hideous creature drops his gaze to you and favors you with a sardonic grin. Cool. Hey, Satan. Oh, I, see, I like his boobage. Good that's, boobage. that's good boobage. 
Welcome, human, to my domain. I am the keeper of the gate. It is my task and pleasure to preside over your internal torment. You have stupidly thrown away your chance at virtual pleasure. Now you shall pay with uncleansing pain and sorrow. Unceasing. Oh, uh, fuck. That is a word. Escape from my realm is impossible. Even your inevitable death will provide no release, for it will only bring a new cycle of agony and suffering. Four torments shall you have, and four times, four, uh, well, whatever. I will delay you no longer. Go into my world and taste its fruit. I am sure it will find you appetizing. Okay. Uh, we turned up Nick, Nick there. How's it going, Praise? It's good to see you, my friend. It's so good to see you. All right, Nick. All right. So we are in hell. As as okay. we should be. So we're in virtual hell. Yes. There's piles of thick gray ash cover. Uh, the rocky ground like a threadbare carpet scattered flames dance around a porous rock ledge that drops off into an inferno from the depths of the flames rises a nightmare vision a writhing multi-headed hydra pairs of eyes dart back and forth taking you with the disturbing sinister, uh, sinister intelligence a pair of blue portals indicates egress to the north and south you see a rusty sword sword here after regaining your senses you notice that most of what you were carrying has disappeared leaving you with only your cover okay let's save oh. save saving here um so nick i mean i i i understand like your so, this... part of me dislikes it because i really feel like the game should have finished at this point no i want to tell or... you why i'm going to tell you why okay we will talk about this we're going to actually have a conversation about this. let's part let's can do this game what irritates me is that i've thought this game is going to stop a couple times i'm going to tell you why you're incredibly wrong but I also I'm wrong. It's hold, my on. It's hold on, hold on, hold on. I had the it's same, I had the same feeling as you, but I'm going to tell you the psychology behind why it's misguided. Because we set a precedent that we. Am did I not enjoying leave. this? You can if you take a second to slow it down. No. Oh. Okay. So let's. I, I won't like it. I don't believe you. Let's get the sword. If you don't like it, that's on you, because you're you're refusing to, no, to open I'm your mind to this. To not like it you're absolutely allowed not to, but I don't believe you. I I am legitimately irritated at its existence. I can tell you why you're legitimately irritated by its existence is because we thought we were going to beat the game, and then we didn't. And then you're like, no, well, we were supposed I, to beat the game. I'm irritated at it because the pacing feels weird. And I'm going to tell you why like, it's not as weird as you think. Third one, let me finish my thought. Yeah, finish your thought. I would have thought that the resolution, my expectation for it, was yeah. that it would be quicker and more actioning, rather than sucking me into like a series of more puzzles. Something more akin to what happens at the end of Enchanter. Yeah. Once you've this rise in action, one that final puzzle, climax, and then it ends. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. I don't like this. Okay, this well let's let's see how far this goes. So we got the sword. We go south. Yeah, I don't think we use the sword to cut off its heads. No, we do not. I don't think. I think you're right because we can't pick up the heads. We can't do anything with those. I've tried to cut its wing, but that's neither here nor there. All right. So to the demon gauntlet on the cliff walkway, two glowing blue portals stand at either end of an immense cavern, connecting them in a long precarious catwalk that rises above a fiery abyss. The cavern walls are notched with narrow cliffs, upon which are perched hordes of screaming demons who wave pointed weapons at you and dare you to traverse their dangerous gauntlet. Uh, south. I, I take their dare. You take a cautious step, inching along the cliff walkway. One of the demons lobs a pointed rock at your head. You easily duck and it falls into the abyss below. The demon looks disappointed and angrily looks for more ammunition. South. Stones and other unidentifiable objects fly uncomfortably close to you from both sides of the cavern. Many of them cause you to dodge and nearly lose your balance. Some of the demons, frustrated with the misses, start to gather together, gather together a rope net. Keep okay. going. Remember, so we need the sword for the net. Yeah, we have this up sword for the net, remember? No, we, did we use the we, sword did, we did it. Yeah, we did. We absolutely did. The demons have a rope net at you. You try to dive out of the way, but there's not enough room on the catwalk and the net ensnares you. So it's cut rope with net. Or with sword, sorry. Rope net with sword. You start to hack the rope net with the sword. Some of the rope falls away, but quite a few remain. 
your score has gone up by five. Some of the demons seeing your plight start to pool their ammunition. One of them produces a makeshift sack, and the rest load it up with stones, dead animals, and other items you don't recognize. And we got we got to cut it again. Remember, try call Doom Guy. I know, right? So. Uh, the largest, meanest demon you've ever seen, although you don't really have all that much experience with them, grabs the sack, whirls it around his head, and releases it straight at you. Freed from the net, you take a swipe at the sack and knock it onto the catwalk, uh, spilling most of the garbage into a pile. Do you want to take um, sack? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, or, or take sack, yeah. You take the sack, I'm, what, do we put the sack on the head of the Hydra? Or, no, remember those statues? There's statues, too. Remember in that room? Yeah. Matt and the demons begin hurling everything you, they can grab at you. Some even pick up their neighbors and toss them at you. The sheer quantity of missiles alerts you to the dangers. Dang, here much longer. So south again, down. yeah. You take another cautious step, inching along the walkway. And south again. Take another cautious step, inching along the cliff walkway. Rock strikes you on the side of the head, blood trickles down your neck. You feel a bit loose. South, south again. There we go. Okay. So here, remember they had the heads here. And I thought maybe this might be where we need to use that then. So this chamber appears to be a temple. Mm hmm. It's fused with an ancient evil that claws at your heart, Nick, and leaves your mouth dry. Silver mirrors are affixed to the walls, ceiling, and floor. Hideous demonic statues have been carved into the remaining rock of the, in the corners. Each is labeled with a single name. Glowing portals are set into the north and south mirrors. Their light contributing to the chamber's eerie atmosphere. So, it has, yeah, Abaddon, Aishma, Araman, and Azazel. And I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't know what that would do. You're right. Like, I don't know what that would do. Oh, 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 Walk oh. Yeah, well, we, we do that normally. The portals are actually in the mirrors. So, if we go south once more, right? It's the empty chamber. Now, this is where we were when we loaded up. You want to read this? Uh, this is a huge natural cavern in the eerie landscape of malformed stalagmites and stalactites. In the Stygian gloom, you notice that the point of a nearby stalagmite has broken off, leaving behind a flat stump. You feel something brush up against your leg, but as soon as you reach down, it's gone. Okay. Um, and then we look at the stump, right? There's a stump there. Well, it's the stump of the stalagmite. It's more of a... One of the largest stalagmites is broken horizontally, uh, creating a level shelf about three feet above the ground. You feel... Okay, so get on stump. Hold on. No. Um, listen to the laughter. Oh. What laugh? There's laughter, remember? And you can even see it in the thingy. There's laughter. Dude, H.C. Willard comes in with a rate of six people. Hello, H.C. Willard. It's good to see you, my friend. How was uh, Leisure Suit Larry treating you? of motion but can't quite seem to locate it. a screeching laughter like the scraping of fingernails and slate echoes through the cavern it bounces off the rocks and walls makes it impossible to pin down the source welcome mix slap nut it's good to see you my friend how are you today welcome to the stream Hello. everybody i am bogus meat factory i'm a retro variety streamer i play a little bit of everything um new old you name it i play it all genres all types all platforms nothing is sacred um and right now my good friend nick and i have been playing um, uh, I've been playing, uh, text adventure games. We're playing Frederick Pohl's Gateway. It's a legend entertainment game. And, um, and of course I know you make slap nut. Yeah. I, the Renaissance, I believe you were the Renaissance streams from time to time. I absolutely remember you. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so we're playing, uh, Frederick Pohl's Gateway. We're at near the end. And so we have been definitely working hard. How, H.C. Willard, how is Leisure Suit Larry treating? Did you beat it? Oh, dude, we're having a great hump day. Nick, you're having a great hump day? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're also doing this, um, we're doing a whole, the whole month of April, we're actually doing a charity stream right now, um, for, uh, as part of SACA, which is Streamers Against Child Abuse, which is a really great, uh, group of people that was organized by my good friend, uh, the Combat King. And uh, it's, uh, we're raising money for uh, Ozone House, which is a local charity here in Michigan uh, that provides housing and, uh, and support and food to children who are homeless, which is a fantastic group and organization. If you're ever interested in donating, holy crap, H.E. was raiding again. How's it going? 
Um, you can take a look here. The Comet King, when he reaches his goal of 4,400, he'll be doing a 27 hour stream. You beat the first one and started the second. They're very silly games. I know, they're so silly. They're so silly. I love I love Mr. Leisure Larry. Like, Leisure Larry is one of those ones that's like mildly problematic. <laughs> Just a little bit, but like, it's still fun. It's still fun. Mascot wants to know how you're doing, Nick. Uh, I am okay. Hold on. Whoa, we only have blood. What's happening? Oh, th there was blood in the side. I was looking at the blood. Um, so I think that there, there's, you can't see the thing here, Nick. I bet you it's yeah. standing on the stump. And we can grab it with the sack. So put sack on stump. No, like uh, put stat sack. Puck sack Jeez. on I can tell that I've been on two planes in the last 24 hours slash taught in class. Yes. Back on stump. Nope. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Um. Wait. Okay. Uh. We have to find a way to see it. Well, I think that it's there. Like, and now I uh, get the... Because the set, set... Can we stand on the stump now? Stand on the stump? No, we can't stand on the stump. Why can't we? What does it say? It says that there's not enough room. Okay. Um. Okay, now get sack. Nope. I mean, obviously, it's, it's supposed to do something there. Right? I wonder if we need a mirror to, like, see it. Because the issue is, is that we can't see it. Okay. Why don't we go, why don't we go, um, north, back into the mirror room, where it's a little safer. Okay. Um, let's look at the sack. I'm gonna look at the sack. There might be a component of it that we need in order to, like, cinch it up or something. Sack is a lot more than a piece of rotting cloth gathered at the top. Okay. A little more. Uh, Can we put the sack on that? With sword. Can we put the sack on the statues? Okay. So a statue hidden by shadows. You may have the dark crumb of long hooked wings. Now look at look at Ashmo. The statue wears seven carved rings upon long taloned fingers. It glares into the room with multifaceted eyes, and its hideous grin reveals sharp, wicked fangs. Okay, look at Aramon. I think Abaddon is the demon that's in that room. Cause they're in shadows. statue is a twisted so if it's the shadow one then we should put light to reveal it uh, not necessarily put light in it but we, like if we maybe i don't know if we can like destroy the statue i don't know if that helps i don't know but we can try yeah strike uh or hit a bad and statue with sword. Something unsettling about the statue friends were defacing it. Um cover like, Abaddon with sack. You place the rotting sack over Ben's mouth and hook it over one of the many jagged edges of the statue's face. Uh, the statue of Ishman moves a little. The features begin to reorient themselves, changing the demon's expression. Look at Ishma then. The statue wears seven carved rings. Oh god, it's breathing stuff. Hold on. Upon long talon fingers, it glares into the room with multifaceted eyes, and its hideous grin reveals sharp, wicked fangs. The word Ishma is graven in the stone base. 
The car face of Ashima animates an obscene sneer. It looks around the room oh. and then takes a deep breath. When it exhales, glowing red dust emerges from its mouth and fills the chamber, settling on you and every other surface. Oh, the red Nick. dust oh, sinks oh. into your skin. Mm -hmm. You start to feel dizzy and confused. It begins to make you a bit angry. Oh. You attempt to make out your surroundings through the red haze of anger, and you find yourself looking at your own image in one of the silver mirrors. You are suddenly filled with an incredible self-loathing. You stare at the image and start to hate everything about it. You find yourself bashing your head up against the silver mirror. Great. So the rhythmic chant of die, 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 after about the seventh impact, you finally fall prey to unconsciousness. Eventually you awaken and pull yourself off the floor. The reflection in the mirrors shows your injuries. Uh, and they appear more cosmetic than life-threatening. You shake the cobwebs from your head and clear which clears your vision but makes your headache worse okay nick we have uh -huh. to capture that with the sack how do we do that we put the sack over ashma's head and wait for it and to it do that, that and it captures that and then maybe we can use that to piss off that demon more than a piece of rock what's well, over it's over abaddon's face yeah. right now right Big sack and it's over the mouth. It says specifically over the mouth. That oh my gosh. On Ishma. Okay. See, and it even changes the thing, so that's the right move. Yeah. Okay, and then wait one more. Oh! Wait. It's Azazel now. Which one? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Self-loathing this time. Your image seems to mock you. Suddenly you resent its very existence. Using dubious logic born of fatigue. Oh, self-loathing before. What was self-loathing? Uh, Azazel self-loathing in this instance. Before was anger. Is Using... it hold on, hold on. You begin pummeling your head and chest with your fist. As you run to this, um, I think we need to restore... Let's just ride this out. I want to see okay, you want to see what happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and now random. It's... No, because Abaddon didn't do it yet. Yeah, Abaddon just did it. I know. But I'm telling you that each one represents Ooh. a thing, but they do different stuff. This is masochism. You start by throwing yourself on the floor. Okay, okay Nick, we got to read this stuff. We have to read it. One particularly jarring blow to the head finally knocks you out. Eventually you awaken and pull yourself off the floor. Your reflection in the mirror shows your injuries and it looks pretty serious. You don't know if you can survive another bout. Shake the cobwebs from your head. It's because your vision. I think, you, I think we need to wait until one of them moves and put the sack on it. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think that the sack is the trigger. I think that was just we did a move and then one of them moved. I see. We had to wait for it to move and then put the sack on because it does give us time to do that. I think you're yeah. right. So let's restore. That's that's 100%. You're right. I think the last time we saved was Forking Hydra. Forking Hydra, yeah. So we might have to do some stuff again. Yeah, we will. When we get into the, the room, we can save it. So get sword south. And don't forget that when we get tied up, that we have to... Oh. I don't um, know why I did that. That's okay. Uh, south. So how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're all doing well. Dude, itchy will alert. I, man, is best. To be fair, putting your sack on anybody is not a good idea. I mean, but you're putting your sack on demons. Okay, so cut rope with sword. And again. Get sack. It even shows up on the thing, and I didn't even notice that. The last time. Oh yeah, you get progressively more effed up. Dude. Josh Grahams, we're almost, we're almost, we're, it's getting done tonight. Um, AC Willard, to answer your question, how you like those biscuits and gravies from us, dude. Mm, biscuits and gravy. So the statue of Ashma moves a little, so put sack on Ashma. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Pray says, chilling tonight, work in the morning, but screw it, I'm staying up late, hooked on this RE4 remake. Dude, it's fantastic, isn't it? I agree. So you place the rotting sack over Ashma's mouth and hook it over one of the many jagged edges of the statue's face. The carved face of Ashma animates in an obscene sneer. 
It appears to make uh, take notice of the bag draped over its mouth with an expression of disgust. It draws a great breath that then blows with such force that it seems the stone itself will crack. A torrential flow of glowing dust shoots from its maw into the sack, but the fabric holds together and you obtain quite a collection of it. We need that. So. Take sack. Yep. And now right, go so north. north. Oh, sorry, not north, south, south. It's south. It's south. Yeah. Okay. Now save. Save. Um. You oh, wow, praise you really like it more than the OG. That's a lot. What a lot of people are saying too. I don't think you're crazy for thinking that. All right, now put the sack on the stump. You put the sack on the slag my stump. You feel something brush up against your leg, but as soon as you reach down, it's gone. Screeching laughter. There's like magic dust scream. now. See, it says, it says on the thing there. Look at the magic dust. What if we use it on the Hydra? What if the the dust is to make the Hydra attack itself? Do you think so? Oh, and they cut off the head and put the sack on the head so that when it reforms, well, it'll be angry? I don't know. Hmm. But why yeah, does the curious. sack? But the sack has an has a animation or not an animation, but like a change in the scenery here. I thought like we Just could catch we things. No, but we could put anything there. It's not going to show it, dude. DS fan, dude. Let's talk about the DS. Are we talking Dark Souls or are we talking Nintendo yeah. DS? Maybe you're right. I guess the uh, uh, I guess Dark Souls. I'm certain Nintendo DS. Dark Souls is also fantastic. All right. It's also cut cool. sack with cut sack with sword. Okay. Open sack. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe we have to break a stalactite so it comes down onto the stump. They just sit there, okay. What's the armor class of the sack? Dude, yes. Dead space, demon slayer, dark sacker. Can Oh, yeah, can we get the dust? I'm a, I think that'll cause us to hit ourselves. Let's just see. Oh, we're angry. Okay. Yeah, it, it okay. doesn't impact us because we don't have a mirror. Oh, oh, hold on. Get the, get the, oh no, the, the okay, the magic stuff's gone and I lost Nick. Oh no. We've lost Nick. Oh, we got Nick back. Hi, Nick. We lost you for a second. Um, I think maybe throw the sack on the stalac or on the All the right. stump. The dust is gone. We use the dust. So we yeah. need to restore. Um. Did we save? We did not. Oh, we did. Okay. No, not on the not on the the floor. We need to throw it on the the stump. I think it's on the stump. I think the thing is jumping like on stump to stump. We, we, it's already gone though, oh, isn't it? Oh, there you go. No, we absorbed it into our skin just now. Yeah. Irritating. You're speeding, Nick. You have to slow down, my friend. You're speeding. Stump. Wait. It blows away. Okay. I think that that's I think that's right though, but we just haven't necessarily done it right. Okay. There's something we're missing. 
Maybe we should try it on the. Let's. Why don't we restore it and go um, uh, south and try it on the Hydra? You might be right. You might be right. And that there's just a certain kind of dust that we. There's a certain kind of dust we need for that particular. We have thing. to get the dust of a certain demon. Maybe. So yeah, throw sack at Hydra. You heave the sack filled with magic dust at the Hydra. One of the heads snags it in midair and tears it open. The Hydra, oh! and there's an animation where it's got it in its mouth. The Hydra oh. waves it back and forth, spilling the red dust over the other heads. The Berserker dust immediately does its work. Many pairs of eyes focus on oh. you. The Hydra oh. roars with blood lust and comes oh. after you. Okay, with okay. not just one or two, but all of its heads. It you needs... last about as long as an ice cube on the surface of Venus, and we okay, die. Okay, okay, no, no, no. We yeah, we just need to restore. That that one needs the 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 masochism dust. Yeah, yeah, the self-loathing one. This, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So restore. And I don't I don't necessarily know if the anger dust is what that one needs. The uh, the invisible thing. Okay. So, what dust do we have? We have Ashma. We have Ashma's anger. Which is anger. Ashma's anger. Here, let me write this down. Let me write this down. I get, let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. Uh, go, go north, please. I'm wondering if Ashma is the one we just don't need. Yeah, because we don't know what the other ones do. So empty. Empty uh, sack. We don't want to empty it here. If we empty it here, we're going to beat ourselves to death. No. No, it's only if we touch it. Where it scatters. See? It's gone. Okay. So now we just wait. So look at a bat on? Sure. I just want to see what he is. Hidden by shadows. So, if we yep. get that one, I, I think it might make the thing visible. You think, oh, you, well, let, yeah, let's, let's wait and see which moves. One second. I want to look at Azazel. Yeah, we never looked at him. Look at Azazel. The hideous demon is distinguished by his large reptilian wingspan and protruding snout, which hides razor-like teeth. The word Azazel is graven in his face. Because we don't okay. know what Araman does. We've seen Azazel, Ashma, and Abaddon. Look at Araman. Such as twisted joining a man and a beast that combines parts of each into a single disturbing image. Cool. Okay, so wait. Anyway, so wait until one of them who's not. So Azazel. Azazel. So put, put yeah. Sack on uh, Azazel. You place the rotting sack over Azazel's mouth and hook it over the many jagged edges of the face. The carved face of Azazel animates an obscene sneer. It appears to take uh, notice the bag draped over its mouth with an expression of disgust. Yep, it and... draws a great breath and then blows with such force that it seems the stone itself will crack. A torrential flow of glowing dust shoots, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, get that. <coughs> get sacked. Get sacked. Now go uh, uh, south. Oh, sorry, south, yeah. South and south. That one is the self loathing, I think. And we throw that at the Hydra. Okay. Throw sack at Hydra. So you heave the sack filled with magic dust at the Hydra when it had snags at the berserker dust. Damn it. Hold on. It's I didn't know it was okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, I didn't know that was gonna do that. Okay. Interesting. So let's go let's go restore. And then we're going to go back north into the room. I want to have... I want to get hit by it to remember exactly what it does. So yeah, restore. <laughs> it showed my dad for a second there. Oh, it's Satan? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so go north. Alright, so we're, we're going to do some experimentation. So save. Here. You can be demon dust. You can keep it as demon dust. That's fine. Beat me, Daddy. Okay. I do, hey, Tillis. How are you today, my friend? It's good to see you. All right. So wait again. Let, let's have it hit us. When it exhales, 
Red dust emerges from its mouth and fills the room, settling on you and every other surface. Red dust sinks into your skin and you start to feel dizzy and confused. This anger again. Um, so that makes you angry, which Hold that was on. Azazel. So Azazel makes you angry. No. So maybe Aishma, no. Aishma gave made us angry before. I know, but this it says Azazel. I know. Do you know what it is? What? It's a cocktail. So we need multiple? I think we need multiple. Well, let's just go through all of them and see if any of them... Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. What? We didn't... Okay. I'm so confused. Yeah, so let's... So, uh. You're un filled with an, an incredible self-loathing. You stare at your image. You find yourself bashing your head up against the silver mirror after the rhythmic chant of die, die, die. Yeah. So Zazel is self-hate. It isn't, though. Slash... The last time it was last time was masochism. Okay. So wait. Statue of Badon moves a little. Yeah. Wait. Last time Abaddon was um carved face of a Badon animates in an obscene sneer. It looks around the room. Again uh, it's anger. Maybe they're all anger. Because it doesn't make sense for it to be random. Maybe they're literally all the same. But they're, they're all the same. Order. Okay. Oh, I see. And it just is getting ever increasing. I see. Okay. You're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. So they're all the same. Well, now I'm right. I was wrong before. And then I had hoped that they were different. So then... Oh. Well, let's restore. But, well, let's just wait. Okay. Maybe there's one of them. Yeah, let's just keep waiting. Let's see what happens when we when we die from all this. We might as well. The red dust again. Yep. Hatred will subdue inside you. Maybe the puzzle is to get so beaten and broken. Let's just see what happens. Let it happen. The portals start flaring and making it sound like scraping metal. Yeah. A blaze of light flares from the portals, accompanied by the piercing scream of metal and metal. The blue mists disappear for a moment and then return. The voids now seem even blacker than before and silent as death. Uh, put the put sack on Aishma. Why? Wait. But the other one then... Don't, yeah, don't save over beat me, daddy. Because Aishma is about to move. Again. And you find... Let's see. Yeah, we're dead now. Insane with self-loathing. Convince yourself with, that you deserve to die. With this in mind, you climb up on one of the statues and leap off, attempting to land on your neck. Unfortunately, you succeed. Ah, deep voice rolls. You can't escape my realm by, by simply dying. Think it'd be easy? Okay, so... So let's restore. We can't get the mirror. No, we cannot, Josh Grams. No. What's in his mouth? What's in what his... What is he eating? I don't know. Is he eating something? Yeah, it does kind of look like he's eating something. Is it the rock? <laughs> oh, ashes? He could be eating ashes. Maybe we need the sack for the ash. Oh, I don't... <sighs> and then the little thing will walk around in it. Mm. We'll Ooh, footprints. this is an idea. Okay, so restore then. The VR programmers that these assassins hired were vicious. Exactly. Uh, to demon D dust or um, beat me daddy? Beat me daddy. Not beat me dead. Beat me daddy. All right, so empty sack. And then uh, south. And then south once more. Put ash in sack, yeah. Okay, now go uh, north. Oh, 
Okay, so now throw... I was going to say throw sack on stump. Oh, it gets put ash on stump. You can do that too. Put ash on stump. Pour or... Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Everyone, we're like, we're like we gotta do this. We gotta do this for Earl. We gotta do this for Audio Eric. They're going to bed in like a half an hour. We gotta beat this. Pour ash on stump. Did, did you see what I called it? What did you say? I don't know. I didn't see. Sorry. I, 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 I said deep lotion. Oh. You're ashy. Yes. Yeah. You're so ashy, Nick. Poor Ash on stump. Oh my god, a score went up. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Nick. Combo number eight. Welcome to the stream, by the way. It's a pleasure to have you. Hello. Oh, okay. Uh sorry, hold on. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Nothing's changed. We, we got a giggle, and we got a giggle that attempted to murder us. That's it. But hold on. Did you read the description when we threw the stuff? Yeah. What did it say? You want me to restore? I'll restore. Yeah, restore. We need lotion. Okay. ash on stuff. So you empty the sack of ash on the stalagmite stump. It falls into a thin leaf layer. Okay. That's it. Um, Wait. hold on. Look at stump now. Look at stump. Uh. Then maybe I go. Just for why don't Why don't we leave and come back? And see if maybe it goes onto the stump. Then at that point, like when we walk in, it, it exits that spot. So let's go south and then north again. Oh really? You've actually read the novel. The the, uh, the 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 game is very fun. I don't know if this is actually like directly based on it. So now look at. Okay. I think we just need to wait. Okay. Yeah, just wait. Maybe until the last second. You know. No. Keep going. Electrical center cap. Okay, you just wait. Keep going. On oh, wait. Hold on. You hear a scuffle up on the stalagmite shelf, accompanied by a giggle. Tiny footprints appear in the thin ash layer on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, hold on. What is um, it? Hold on. With sword or uh, sack or sword. Hold on. We're safe. I. Yeah, save. Save. I think we hit it with the sword. No. Um. I think we need the bag, the sack, to, like, capture it, right? On the slug I you see some more footprints. No, oh, look at the look at the footprints now. Oh, oh, no. Yes, Nick. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you need to, we need to to restore to Ash. Or I guess we can just go hold on, hold on. We can go north, get the dust now. And when he gets on the shelf, we now know he's there, and then we can throw the sack at him with the dust. To make him angry. But then he'll attack us. I want to see what happens. He might not. We'll see what happens. Alright, so put Zack on Azazel. Is the shelf different than something? No, it is the same thing. I never know how to summarize the book without hinting at the end. Yeah, don't do it. Well, in this, um, it already established the person who was stuck on venus i believe and then he finds oh. a ship that leads to an alien spaceship which is gateway um so you got this stuff now yeah I okay went the wrong that's okay so he's no longer there yeah can we look at the footprints yeah because there says footprints there now
But Something he's not there. He's, he's hitting us. Yeah. Your foot is broken. Okay, you hear the scuffle on the shelf again. Beyond that, it's definitely quiet. The room's in the thin layers. Okay, so now throw sack at stump. With a flick of the wrist, you toss the sack under the slagmite shelf. The red dust puffs into a cloud. Your invisible assailant breathes and the berserker dust and flies into rage. Your immediate evidence for this conjecture is the myriad of cuts. Yeah, he just kills us. Okay, so maybe we have to throw our sword? Well, I was just going to put the sack on him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Kuno, how are you today? That's a good idea. We tried to hit him. Yeah, yeah. And he's on the stump right now when we saved, right? Yeah. So put sack on stump. Or throw, yeah, throw sack on stump is fine too. No. Damn it. Um, okay, so let's hold on. Let's let's restore and we'll wait again. We'll see what happens. How are you guys still playing Gateway? Did we start over? No. Gateway is a long game. Lip! I know Wednesday with me and Nick. Combo number says, plus I know John Picaccio, the guy who did the cover art for the reprinting. Ooh, fun. Um, yeah, so my, so I'm, I'm going to guess combo number eight that the, the plot of Gateway is about the guy discovering Gateway in the first place, which they summarize in the beginning of this game. You feel something brush up against your leg. They've got a million bed and get, get to come to this exactly. Okay, now, now do it. With a flick of the wrist. You toss the sack on the slag my shelf. Suddenly an invisible blade slices to the air and deals you with... Oh my god. Okay, so we need to... And in that moment, I think throw ah. the sword. I think we need to throw the sword then. Instead of the bag? Instead of the bag. Maybe oh it'll... God. Maybe it'll... Impale him. We've got like three things we can interact with. We've got dust, ash, bag, and sword. So we got four things. Yes. One of those four fucking things. Hold on, Nick. Needs to solve this puzzle. You're right. Unless we are doing it in the wrong order, and it's something to do with the fucking hydra. What if we huff the the uh, huff, sucks, huff the John? dust, huff the the dust, and we get all angry and kill him? Do you know what sucks, John? What sucks? Uh, I, I'm betting that there's a devil layer for every game. A, a what now? One of these fucking levels for every game that we need to break in the virtual world. Uh, we'll see. Oh, so that's not really a combo of number eight. Okay. Is it about the assassins? Okay. I'm curious. Do we want to try to reset this by going back and coming in? No, I want I, to near death. No, it's fine. I want to I just want to see if this will do it. I want to see if this will do it. Okay. He's not there anymore, I don't think. I know, so we have to wait. Oh, it says you hear another scuffle as whatever was on the shelf seems to leap away from it. Also, he was there? He was there. Okay. Well, let's try to get him there then. I'm super curious. Okay, so throw, throw sword at stump. Okay, no. Oh my god. Step Hydra, what are you doing? Me? Oh, Step Hydra, what are you doing? Ooh, like like stepsister. That's what lips make lips make it a joke. A dirty joke. Can we get more ash? What if you yeah. throw ash on him when he's there to make him visible? Oh, do you think so? Maybe. There are ashes. Yeah, so put ash in sack. You're the best step hydra I could ever ask for. Oh, God. Is it north? It is north.
Okay, so now we wait. Okay, so he's not there. Okay. On. Stop. Oh, there it is. Lord. There it is. With the, the flicker of the wrist. Back. Yep. Obscuring the shelf surface. As the tiny, uh, as the cloud settles, it reveals a short, skinny demon on the shelf, bent double in a fit of coughing. He carries a wicked sharp blade axe, and upon one of his hands, he wears a ring. Okay, okay now we stab his ass. Stab demon, demon with sword. You leap to uh, the attack, but he sees you coming with an insidious grin. He jumps out of harm's way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking why? Fucking why? Fucking why? Fucking why? Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You leap into the to the attack, but he sees you coming. With an insidious grin, he jumps out of harm's way and swings his axe. As luck would have it, you were absent the day they covered axe dodging in school. We're dead. I know. Yeah, right? <laughs> Come on. You Isn't have to admit. Every one of these puzzles is now taking too damn long. Like, we can figure them out. Ah, uh, combo, yes. Okay, I get to where, the, where that's going, yes. And this is very adventure gaming version of this. Hydropron, tentacles, you need to up your game. <laughs> um, wow. So, okay. I think we need to try to limit our damage here. I think we need to try to take fewer hits. We can't because, I, because I, we don't have the ash anymore. Like the second well, thing of ash. So we put ash. I think we just go back, Sal. Yeah, but when we when we go back there, it says he jumps off the thing. We can we can take the hits, Nick. I think we need to then maybe attack or hit the axe with our sword instead. As if we're trying to like disarm him. What did we do in the stupid VR I, thing before? I think we need to disarm him, Nick. We picked him up, right? I oh, in the what? We picked who up? In, in the in the VR fear simulator, we picked up the little demon with the axe. I don't know. You don't remember this? I think we need to disarm him. I think when he came back in the in, he was still in some. We'll see what happens. So we got the ash, she'll go north, yeah. Sakura says, type go to axe dodging school. <laughs> see, it says, um, you gasp with something that slices, yeah. You hear another scuffle as whatever was on the shelf seems to leap away from it. So just wait, I wanna see what happens here. Yeah, laughter. Okay, now throw the ash. So now save here. Oh, what? Is there RNG? No, there's not RNG. Something happened there. You weren't holding the ashes, is what it said. I wasn't holding the ashes. I had ashes. Sorry. Go, go south again. South. Yep. Put ash in. Or Sack. Ash. I think you type get get ash. In sack. Okay. North. Now north, yeah. I think that's what happens. So once you throw the ash on him, can you sack him? Maybe that's Wait, what we need to do. Maybe we need to catch him then. Yeah. Instead of trying to kill him. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now save. You can save over a bag and tag him. Or I guess you don't have to. You can make a new one. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay.
There doesn't seem to be a pool, suitable place to put the sack on the demon. The demon stops coughing, looks up at you with a growl, and leaps to the attack. Is that gonna be okay? So restore again. I think we gotta attack his. Um, we have to attack his axe or disarm him. You know. You grab Ash. Pikachu falls in search of revenge. The opening of the sack is the ash hole. <laughs> Nick, not ash hole. No, Nick, nothing. So what's gonna happen, hear, hear me out, Earshot Media. This is what's gonna happen. Once we get him captured, he's gonna give us the ring, or we're gonna get the ring from him that makes us invisible. We're gonna put the sack on the, th the mirror stuff to make it angry, go invisible, throw the dust at the Hydras. It doesn't see anyone but itself, and it attacks itself and defeats it. It just sits there. Um, Maybe we gotta take the ax. Like, just get it. Maybe you can wrestle it free from him. It sucks that it just leads to a death state at that point. You may have to recount the restore. I've heard sack way too much on the stream. Nick is so unhappy and I am so happy. I'm I'm very annoyed by this. I am not at all. Why? Because I'm I'm getting it. I mean I I'm Get X. Get X. We do need to disarm him. We're dead. We could be playing do sack we? boy. Yeah, we need to disarm him. In some way. Maybe we need to leave. And hopefully he follows us. And then we get him to fight the Hydra. No, that's not it. I'm positive that we have to get the ring, which makes him invisible. So that way we can then be well, invisible yeah, that, and then make the Hydra point. attack itself. But if we strike him, he doesn't die. If we try to take his axe, we don't get the axe and we die. If we try to get him, we die. There's like every single thing. What if we push we him? Do. What if we push him and he gets impaled on a stalagmite? Because it's a Lord of the Rings reference? He did try to do that to us. Yeah. Okay. Push demon. I'm just yeah okay hmm maybe we Are take you the ring. My annoyance now. I, I get it because well, my only annoyance is really the fact that every time you have one action that you can do here and it leads to death if you don't get it right. I mean, my annoyance is that we had like. All of the options, everything was like slimming down to one narrow path, and it felt like it was building to something. Yeah. And then it just blew up again. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I wanted, I was done. You were done. I was done, game. I was finished. Yeah. And you thought maybe if you gave me more, I would be happy, but actually, I'm annoyed. Yeah. Because I thought I won or was close to winning, and now I'm, I'm not. I have this whole other game. Yeah. This is a whole other game. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. This is a whole game that we're playing, and but I'm upset about it. We've hit the stalactite with a sword before, and it didn't do anything, which is my thing. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Do, have we tried to take the ring? Try to take the ring is my next thing. With that, I was going to suggest doing, but I don't know. So... But do it after the demon hit the stalactite after the demon's uncovered. I mean, I guess we could. We could try, right? But try to get the ring. You slip the ring from his finger. <clears throat> then he kills us. Yep. Okay. So the ring is the thing we need to get. But we have to take care of the demon first. I don't know what to do. So try hitting the stalactite after he's uncovered. Josh Graham says, if we do it earlier while we still have some health, can we survive it? I mean, that's a great question. I don't I don't know. That's what I, I, I was thinking, that we were taking yeah. too many hits. Yeah. Then maybe, do you think we could be missing something? 
where. Hold on, so let me just go through the order of events. We don't get anything, we come in fresh. Our order of operations, we get the sword. We go south. Mm -hmm. We get the sword and the ash. We go south. Yeah, south. We uh, keep going south until they throw a sack at us. No, the they didn't throw a sack at us, Nick. They throw a rope net at us. We never take the rope. We never take the net. Yeah, we never take the net. Do you think we can get that? Maybe. But that means we've sort of soft locked ourselves, which also irritates me. Uh, yeah, we did. But hold on, we we did it at um at uh uh no, it'd be Forking Hydra. Forking Hydra is the one. That's the one. That's it. That's it. It's the net. We had we didn't get the net. You, but we, we, we've got this, Nick. We've got this. It only took us an hour. Sword. Sword. Then south. No, oh, well, wait, 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 wait. Let's yeah. Get sword. No, we, we don't we, have the... We don't have the sack yet. Yeah. So south. 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 Now, cut rope with sword. And do it again. Get rope and sack. Yes! That's it. That's it. That's it. South one more time. So let's keep going south until we get out. This is that's some real networking. We got this. My brain, it's it's my brain. We had to go through that order of operations again. Nick. You were right that we were missing something. You were right that we were missing something. Okay. So we, we should go back to the Hydra now. Yes. Hydra now, so go south twice. Because we don't want to take any hits that we don't need to take. Exactly. You miss one little thing, but we, we had to stop and reassess the situation, and that's how you handle text adventure games. We'll get the ash, we'll put it on the stump, we'll come and get the next ash, we'll come back, and then we will save. So then go north. No. Put ash in sack. I've made this mistake before. There. North. I like this. I like this having to kind of re-go through our steps again. We clearly we're missing something. I right? don't like this at the end of the game. I do. Come I'm on. sorry, Nick. Because we're making progress. We did an order of operations. Stop up 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 matters. Let's talk about let's talk about the beauty of this situation. It's no, it's not beautiful. We, we tried a bunch of things and it gave us responses to each one, right? It did True. respond in unique ways for each attempt that we tried. And that then led I'm us to failure every time. I'm not arguing that the puzzle is bad. I'm arguing that the puzzle's placement is bad. And I'm telling you that your complaints about the pacing are only related to our precedent that we set that we were going to beat this game last no. Saturday. No. No. Yes. They are irrespective of that. Yes. If this were a movie, I would leave. It's not I a movie, it's a game! I, I okay. know, but it's, it's a narrative. It's a put, story. Put and the, story the ash on the stump for me, Nick. It's annoying. We're gonna beat this game. We gotta beat it. We got the, 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 we, we'll put the ash on the stump, Nick. We gotta go. Alright, now go north. Oh, sorry, not north-south. I apologize. Why are we doing that? We have to get ash again. A second ash. This is so dumb. I'm waggling my crayon at you. It, the, the pacing sucks ass. It, it, it should be done. You couldn't fire up COD in 1993, Nick. Yeah. Maskless says, I'm so here for Nick. All right, save. <laughs> I just like, come the fuck on, man. This is one of the only games in town. Nick, Weird imagine this. Connection. Nick, this is your one this game. Is this is your one problem. game that you get like, you get two games a year. This is the one you had, and it's gotta last. So we wait. John, we know I wouldn't have played it until now. You weren't even alive when this game came out. I know. Hi, Gwendolyn. Hi. You gonna go up to bed with mama, okay? You not feeling good? Huh? I love you very much. 
Oh, baby. Going into bed with mom, okay? <laughs> Come on. I believe in you, Nick. Hold on. Yeah, say hi to Uncle Nick. Say hi to Uncle Nick. Say hi. There he is. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay. Good night. Hold on, I gotta get her to bed. I'm gonna Walk just on disappear for a second. Sorry. Throw ash you do on your thing. Stump. I'm going to turn off my webcam. And I will be right back, Nick. Wee. Okay. Let the darkness grow. So how do we do this? We throw the rope on the demon? Yeah, I earshot media. I'm I'm down for that. That sounds like a good time. That has an excellent narrative arc. That that's all I'm looking for. We are in the denouement right now. <laughs> so is it a net or rope? It's a rope net. So throw rope net. Okay, throw rope net on demon. Give it no ambiguity. Okay. So you hurl the net over the demon in the middle of a particularly bad spasm of coughing. The net wraps around him tightly and securely. The demon stops coughing, looks up at you with a growl, and leaps for your throat. His movement is checked by the net, however, which keeps you safe for the moment. Stab demon. Dealman. Stab demon with sword. Die demon, die. You jab at the demon with the shiny sword. Confined as he is by the net, he presents an easy target, and you succeed in drawing blood. He glares at you with red-veined eyes that promise a lot of pain if ever he escapes. The rope net falls away from the shelf, and an invisible blade slices you in two. Damn. Maybe then I should have shoved him? Or, yes, get get the, the ring and leave. Maybe that's the option. Yeah, take the ring. They just really want this evil little turd to live which I find annoying. I wonder if, so in the previous section before we did this, there was a VR game uh, that we played um, where we fought our demon who also Hi. had an ax. What happened, and Nick? And that demon, with, we died. Uh, did you throw the net on the d demon? And it did get him. Uh, and then I tried to stab the demon. No, you get the, the, you get the ring. Die. You just get the ring then. Yeah, I should have done that. We just need but the I, ring. I really want the demon to die. Because no. I, I hate the demon because the demon makes me angry. You're letting your emotions take over in a moment when we need to stay calm. Do we? Lip, she's okay. She has a toothache. She sees the dentist in next week. Take. Ring. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Throw net on oh. demon. Okay. That would have been awkward. Take ring. Okay, now go north. It says, well, the demon is... But oh, I, we, I didn't, was... we didn't read what he said, but he was got mad about something. All right, so yeah. we have our no, sack, right? Flashes, he's column. Oh, we need to go south once more to get the sack. We, we lost our sack. But he's gone now. Oh, he's still he's in there. there. Okay, so... I don't uh, know if we have time. I'm pretty sure if we do anything, he'll kill us. Well, we'll see what happens. Get sack. I think he only breaks free because you try to stab him, Nick. Nope. Okay. Shit. No, I don't think we have time. I literally went to type G and then it went, oh, nope, you're dead. Okay. Do we have to go through the gauntlet then again to avoid the demon? We can just, can't we just go to the Hydra? Let's just put on the ring and see what that does. Okay. Oh, we should put the ring on. Duh. Because it's the ring Lib of is power. Right. Lib is right. So put the net on the demon. Throw net on demon. That's right. You're right, Lip. I'm so stupid. Throw net on demon. Yep. Because it makes you invisible. Yes. Get the ring. North. Oh, get Zach. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, put ring on. Yes. You slide the silver ring onto your finger and find it a perfect fit. As you admire it, your hand becomes a, begins to fade from view. Your arm follows, and soon your entire body has disappeared. With a shock, you realize you're invisible. <clears throat> Suddenly, the demon gets an idea. He begins sign at the net with his nasty-looking blade. So take our sack. 
He can't see. Okay, with the demon's final swipe, the rope net falls onto the stalagmite shelf. The demon looks up with an expression of manic glee, but it quickly fades when he realizes he can't see you. His cry of triumph turns John. to one of frustrated rage. John, it is the one. Also can't see us. The Hydra. And when what? the Hydra gets pissed, what is the only thing the Hydra? You can see? didn't listen to me because I literally said this. When? Chat, did I say this? I literally said this. We get the ring, we're able to be invisible. We get the sack, we put it on the statue to get the anger thing. We're invisible. I totally said it, Lip is right. I, yeah. I don't recall you saying it. Wiggling I don't my, recall wiggling you saying it. I'm gonna get the spray bottle, you guys, if y'all don't settle down. <laughs> I'm gonna spray bottle on Nick. What's wrong with him? Hey, hey, sir. <laughs> I'm functioning a very little sleep here. Nick was mid rant when I said it. This is true. Nick was Nick was talking. So I might not have heard you legitimately. Toki and cease and desist is in the mail. <laughs> Both being sassy. You're being sassy, Alicia. Yeah? Um. All right. So then we go. Uh. We go north. That's what we're known for. Did we get the sack? We did. We got the sack. Excellent. We took our sack. All right. Um. All right. So now we wait. Can they see us? Okay, yes. So, put sack on Ashma. Ashma. Come on. I'm always Come sassy. On, it's my God given right and privilege. Yep, okay. So now we take go. Sack. Yep, take sack, then south. South. Then south again. South. He's like looking angry. He's mumbling something. We're getting his precious. Save. Would that be considered sack privilege? <laughs> privilege to have Rain my the sack the sackus. Ooh, uh, Rain of the phallus. Yeah, we can bring yeah. that back. Yes, I am a believer of Bacchus. So sackus. Throw dust at, at Hydra. Hydra. You heave the sack filled with magic dust at the Hydra. One of the heads snags it in midair and then tears it open. The Hydra waves it back and forth, spilling the red dust over the other heads. The Berserker dust immediately goes to work. Blind with rage, the writhing heads search for a target upon which to vent their bloodlust. Seeing no one in the room save themselves, they begin to bite and snap at one another, wounding and in some cases decapitating the heads around them. Okay. Nick, I want to first... Oh my god. Suddenly, two head. Oh, what? That moved without me doing anything. Uh, it's that's. I am no. Do you remember every single time that we've ever had you do this? And you had typed something. No, I haven't. Uh, come on, it skipped ahead. Well, three we times. saved. We saved. So let's restore. It skipped ahead three times, bro. Like it, I didn't hit anything three times. There literally was nothing. If you typed the thing. word, nothing. it didn't. Okay. There was nothing in the thing. Let's see. It just moved on. Let's see. Hold on. All right, so throw sack at Hydra. So throw sack at Hydra. We've read this text. I then hit enter. Okay, hit enter once. For more. Suddenly, two new heads start appearing. I don't know why it's not moving on. Tuna heads start appearing for every one that has been destroyed. This only seems to enrage the existing heads more, driving them into an even greater frenzy. Flashing teeth and claws are everywhere as the Hydra tears into itself, growing by leaps and bounds as the carnage continues. Soon, the sheer mass of squirming heads fills the cavern and starts to strain at the walls. The pressure of the infinite progression builds and builds until reality snaps. In the distance, you hear a wail of agony and the scene dissolves around you. Cupcake liners. The haunting of Nick's keyboard. Fuck it. I'm just buying cupcake liners on Amazon. Go for it, Telesia. I hit enter. Nothing's happening. Just wait. I am. Music. It's a music transition. Still nothing's happening. Okay. One time. 
The false reality melts. The fiery cavern dissolves to reveal the interior of the Hichi travel pod. The iris is retracted, the globe dark and cracked, the hatch open. Beyond it, you can see the expected wall of circuitry, including the circular indentation, the size and depth of the silver collar. You place the collar snugly inside the depression. There is no alarm or klaxon, nothing to indicate that you have completed your mission, and yet it is done. You press the pedal, travel back to Are the you satellite, telling me and everything else is bullshit. And reboard your ship for the return flight to Gateway. What do you mean everything's bullshit? Everything else. What do you mean like everything else? All the other things that seem like puzzles were actually not puzzles. What other puzzles? What are, what are so the puzzles? So the lady attracted to you and wants to talk to you and has the come hither. The poker game that you're not able to play because you don't have enough money. The weight game that you're not able to break successfully. No. You know, it doesn't work at all. All of those things did nothing. No, they were meant to distract you. So the red herring. No, they were meant to distract you, the character. Well, but I, the player, don't give a shit. They're red herring. I don't understand. There wasn't a puzzle involved with those, though. Well, yeah, but it implied that there were. And that, like, so, like, it, it follows that if to get out of the VR world we need to do things that are unexpected, we have three games, we break one of them. All you need to do is break one. That's it. I guess. To break the VR. Have a wonderful night, Earl. This is it. We beat it. All right, hit enter one more time. One more time. I will read this, Nick, and I will. I will have this discussion. We're gonna have a talk. The false reality melts. You hit enter twice. I, I hit it once. I do. I hit it the one time. I feel like you, you smack something down on your keyboard. I didn't. Dang it! I, I will believe you. I love you. Uh, I love you, Nick. We're quarreling lovers right now. Restore, please. I need to read it. Oh my god, no. No. Restore. I think I spelled it wrong, but it's fine. It's fine. Do I have, do I have to throw a sack again? Throw a sack. Throw sack at Hydra. No earshot media. This is Nick being stubborn. I know, Nick. We have known each other for a long time. This is Nick being stubborn. What do you mean I'm being stubborn? You're grumpy. You're a grumpy Gus right now. What do you mean I'm being stubborn? Earshot Media thinks you're trolling me. I'm confused. How? Hold I'm, on. I'm literally hitting the button the one time. Okay, one time. I don't want... I want this to be over. I don't want it to go on any longer. So when it does that, it's upsetting to me. One more time. We're going to celebrate. Oh, yeah. I hit okay. it. I hit it. This is true, Talisia. Okay. One more time. Please. One more time? Please. He's I just a boy. One more time. Okay, there you're greeted as a hero. Your days are spent in exhaustive debriefing sessions with corporation scientists, and your nights are spent in revelry, revelry at the Blue Hell Bar. After a week of this, you decide to schedule one final blowout and then return to Earth. The party at the Blue Hell Bar turns out to be a record bash during which you consume far more alcohol than can possibly be good for you. When the party ends, you wave a bleary goodbye to the last of the stragglers and decide that this would be an excellent time to rediscover your bed. So we go west. Nick needs a coffee and or beer. West once more. And then sleep. Okay, hit enter. Oh, message. Yeah, insert card in slot put card in slot blah 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 all right and play messages greetings human i am the hichi virtual personality program speaking to you once again despite appearances you have not returned to gateway your body is still in the travel pod outside the watchtower and you're in yet another virtual reality created by the assassin in hopes of delaying you long enough to keep you from completing your mission before you touch the assassin's globe i use the collar slash interface to create a doppel of you 
an electronic <laughs> representation of your personality. I embedded myself deep in the subconscious of that doppel so you would be a kind of Trojan horse that would deliver me into the Watchtower system. When you touched the globe, the assassin scanned your doppel and found what we, he expected, a meat intelligence. As I hoped, he remained... Have a wonderful night, audio Eric. As I hoped, he remained unaware of my hidden presence. Uh, uh -huh. next. Okay. Okay. See this? It's going down once. Okay. Okay. See it? It touched it one time. After leaving you inside, the assassin had access to all your conscious knowledge. He learned of your mission to intercept his warning message, and he decided to keep creating virtual realities to keep you occupied until his message had been sent. However, you succeeded in breaking each reality as he created it. The assassin finally formed this gateway virtual environment. In doing so, he allowed a sleep cycle, and while you were in a dormant state, I was able to surface from your subconscious temporarily and leave you this message. Incidentally, do not worry about the assassin learning about this message. He does not monitor these realities. He creates them and lets them run automatically. Next. Oh, God. This is... Oh, God. Now, Nick, now I can... Now I will say that it has gone too far. This should have been it. His only alternative would be to enter the realities himself and thereby become subject to their rules. Theoretically, it would be, then be possible for you to force an encounter with him and perhaps kill him, a risk he cannot afford to take. In creating this gateway reality, the assassin has made a potentially fatal mistake. I have scanned the environment and discovered a virtual reality terminal. We know where it is. One of its programs, Deep Psych, is designed to draw out deep subconscious images and make them real. Here inside the Assassin's VR, that program has the power to transfer me from the depths of your subconscious to the fabric of this reality that the Assassin is maintaining. Once I am brought into this system, the viral part of my programming can destroy the Assassin. Therefore, all you have to do is enter the VR terminal and enter the Deep Psych program, as you've done before. If you can do this, then I will do the rest. Good luck. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Just, like... From a game design perspective, does this feel good? Uh, this right is here. Is it good game design? This to, part right this is now. This the second time it's done it. No, 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 no. This is the second time it's gone. You've done the thing you've won. Wait, no, secretly no. you haven't. This. Yes. When was the first time? When we go through the thing, we, we finally get to the thing. We put in the piece. No, we, we didn't put in the have piece. Like a set piece battle between the assassin and the the Hichi. And yeah. then it goes, no, you're now in this weird casino. No, we didn't. Remember, we didn't actually put it in. We, we were stopped. Built. And the lady said, uh, this is like Doki Doki Literature Club right now. Um, and so, yeah. And then that starts the, the thing. Now, this is the but wait, there's more, which is like, okay, okay, I, wrap it up. I, I, we're, we're just arguing about what at what moment it should have stopped. Okay. Which I'm saying it should have stopped a beat earlier. Let's hit, hit zero. I noticed that your in-game date is also my birthday. Almost your birthday. The in-game date. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so end session. East. Oh, get all. Sorry, get all. I should have probably gotten all. Excuse me. I swear to the Lord on high. East. If this is a four-part puzzle, I will find out whoever designed this game. No, don't be and mad. Give them a terrible Yelp review. This was also their first game that they made. Well, they did very well for their first game, I must say. There is no spoon. Only Zool. East, please. East, Nick. Come on now. East. Northwest. I, I, I went back to get everything. Northwest. Oh, God. I have to... I have a lab tomorrow. We're almost done, Nick. We're almost there. Fire. It's scary, John. Up. Uh, Ugh. I just had, like, a piece of, like, a big clump of hair just, like, fell into my mouth. What the hell was that? All right. Um... Put on collar, sit in couch. Well, no, we have to set it to. We have to set it to. Look at um. Look at panel. We have to remember. We have to set it to the thing. It's at okay. It's already set to these like. All right, so sit on couch. Wear collar. Yeah, put on collar. To hit button. Yeah, push button. Is there a code we need to remember? Oh, uh, you're right. It needs a. It is need a code. What was the code? Hold on. Look at the um. What was the code? Shit. Shit. What was the code? I'm looking at my notes. 
Looking at my notes. Um, hold on. So this one. Where's my notes? My youngest. I should just give the kids a cahoot. Give the kids a what now? Give the kids a what now? What's a cahoot? Cahoot. It is uh. Four two zero six nine. Please tell me, praise the sun, that you actually know that for a fact. It is not four two zero six nine. He he told it to us previously. Hold on. I Why to... is praise the sun saying it? I love you. You need true. to go to bed, baby. <laughs> I know. Praise the sun. No, you traitor. You gave me hope. I love you, kiddo. Damage. <laughs> It is Kahoot is a gar it is a bargain bin jack in the box, but it, it it allows teachers to make games that students no, can baby. play. I gotta do my stuff, okay? Oh, I know, but Mama's up there to snuggle with, okay? I'll be there in a minute, okay? Oh, oh little one. I'll be right back, Nick. Okay. No worries. Uh, the password is damage. Damage. Uh. Oh, she's just sad. Hi. Type damage. Listen, you gotta go up to bed, okay? And I'll be up there in just a minute, okay? I love you. Bye. Thomas, can you go up there? I'll see you in a minute. Love you. The panel produces an ugly rasping beep. That I thought it was in damage. It was a game show like Buzz, it wasn't damage. Damn it. I'm just looking at my notes and I just see words that I typed. Random words that I typed. Take off collar. Let's see. Hold on. Get up. What was Look it? At desk. Uh, read the VR manual. The Praise the most of us that ever. Aw. Open VR manual. <laughs> no, that's not it. Okay. This. Oh man, banana daiquiri. Uh, tiki pack. Nope, that's not words that are important. So you're telling me. That we needed to remember the passcode from this when he gave us that? That can't be right. That can't be right. Because who would remember? He tells that? us. He tells us that. I know he tells us that. Yeah. But like, why would we remember that? Can we save here and then restore where that was? I, I, have you seen my save conventions? Uh, yeah, I know. We might be able to. Passwords below, yeah. So restore. So let's see if we <laughs> can one, two, three, three, four, five. Uh, go down. It's not. It's not fork. Fork would have been uh, post capitalist nightmare is not it. That was uh, on the ship. And it wasn't just in case though. It wasn't ship puzzle. Gold button. Try gold button. One it's second. not. It's not Weird. voyeur. No, the bat. No, no, it's none of those. It's, it's after because it happens after we save Becker. So gold button, I think, is the one. What did I hit? Final countdown. Why did I do that? I thought I hit. <laughs> I need to change my password now. We all know combo numbers. Password. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's yeah. It's golden button. I think. I don't know why it was gold button. I'm sure there was a reason. No. That's why. Oh, no, 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 no. Do this and then it's like before you leave, you have to do it. So let's do that, right? Um, so push button. Hold on. In the area, you're looking at a holographic star map, a staggering display of technology. Escape in amazement, the prediction is to rotate slowly. The hologram vanishes. Okay. Do we get? Did we get the ball here? Nah. Look at the. Um... How, how no. The Look at panel. Look at the panel. Do we have the ball? We are holding a silver spear. We okay. Yep. So out. Clean that motor and try to get it. You got the Celestia. Uh, okay, so we gotta get back to the conference room. So east. Down. 
south, northwest, west. Okay, so now we have to go to the VR place. Yep, east. Up. No, it's... Hold on. Um, okay, hit, okay. Enter deep psych. Now that's an SVR. I guess the higher-ups want to make sure you don't snap under pressure. Let me smack the patch review while I lay down on the couch. So sit on couch. Um... Damage. It's damage. See, I was right. To restore. But it didn't work. Are you? Hold on. Hold on. Restore. It's the last page of the manual, too. The password for today. That's on July 9th. Mm. Okay, so... Uh, Turn manual to last page. Sorry, I don't. Last page. Okay. Hold on. Is hold. This might actually be a copy protection situation. Hold on. Um. Let's see. Uh, Frederick Pohl's gateway game and manual. That's the official hint book. I don't need that. Hold on. Okay, let's go back. Do you have horoscopes too? Let's see. I want documents, not the, not the game. Oh god, I'm like downloading the game. Manual. Here we go. Manual. Hints? No. No, that's, just, that's literally just the manual. Okay, that's not it. Okay. Um. Alright. Hold on. Okay, so. Okay, so the manual's not it. It's not a copy protection situation. But what we. Can we see what he did? When we did that, when he looked up the, the thing, didn't he say there was a there was a, a blue light? That glue? Glowed? Glued? I don't know. We know what the date is actually, Josh Grahams, on the um on the, the UI there. Have you thought about making this a circus? Because this is intense. Get the get the manual. Get manual. Okay. Yeah. So what Can happened there? Read it because we didn't have it. Uh, no. Um. Okay. Read the manual. Is that what happened? No. We didn't. Put the manual. That's what. Happened. It has a the remainder. So it has a few sentences about each virtual reality program. The section on Deep Psych is printed in red. Activate only by prescription. Password lockout is date dependent. Uses the following list. The remainder of the page is empty. Nick, it, it, it's ultraviolet light. He had the or he had the blue lights. So we have to go no, to the no, tanning no, room. No John, I kept hitting read manual and it wouldn't let me because I was just reading the title because I didn't have it in my hand. Yeah. Mazda so says, how do I get into the deep psych virtual reality? And answer, you need to go from the meeting room to the VR terminal where you'll get a password. That's in the first instance. That's in the first so instance, mascot. We need to go to the, the tan room. room. So out. Southeast. East. 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 North. So let's see, hold on. Um, no, now just read, read, uh, manual. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, so it's membrane. 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 
I'm writing it down just in case in my blue crayon because I don't know where my pencil is. My dog is pissed. I won't share my snack with her. The problem is I'm not eating a snack. I do not have a snack. You need to have one. You should be treat the dog's like you need to take care of yourself. You taking care of yourself? Tell us. Yeah, you you doing all right? You getting getting some snacks? You well fed? Are you you feeling all right? Um, oh, since you're getting a snack, why don't you just give me one too? It's like so. Earshot Media suggests that we make a a Skinner box that punishes you every time you're a dickhead by making the game worse. Um, he says if so, you like, no. It's, yeah, you ha you're a rat in a box. You got a button that gives you food, and you got a button that zaps you. And if you touch the button that zaps you, it's upsetting. But if you touch the button that gets you food, the game is good. No, no. What, what are you talking Skinner about? Box. Earshot Media says, what if we had a game that either rewarded altruistic choices or punished depraved choices, but not with a typical in-game ramification? Instead, the prevalence of aggravating game design is increased the more immoral the player's action. Yeah. Like a person who constantly wants to fuck everything. What are you talking about? You're making immoral actions. I asked. Yeah. That's just because you're a prude, sir. This is an implied <laughs> request of consent. Well, it is really the the, the tentacle monster. <laughs> That's not what I tell my students. Hey, that tentacle monster wanted it. Uh, this is inappropriate. South. West. <laughs> Tentacle monster was down. No. That is not appropriate. For who? For you. <laughs> For the Eldritch Horror? Yes. West. The password is membrane. And it's this is insane in the membrane. For tens of dollars I draw that kind of depraved thing. <laughs> Northwest. Up. I mean, nothing is sexier than Lovecraftian horror. I went from being a nanny nothing to drawing pretty stuff on the internet. A what a career change! By a, guy who's a vehement misogynist and sexless, as far as I know. Lip says, I did find it very funny that Nick plays so many of these text adventures trying to get down and dirty with everything and everyone until the casino scene on this game where they set up for it. And he just said, I'm not comfortable with this. Yeah. Because I can fuck a pipe. It's a pipe. And a tentacle monster. But those were women. That's not appropriate. That asked you. That asked you to do it to them. No. They didn't. They didn't speak, except for a few of them did. They but did. The and the lady was like, hey, do you want to go somewhere quiet? Yeah, no. I don't. That was also clearly a puzzle, John. Come on. There was a room we couldn't get into. Telesia. Like, Telesia. He tried to fuck a pipe. <laughs> I did try to fuck a pipe. Telesia. He did try to fuck a tentacle monster. I did. I, I did. Okay. Sit on couch. Oh, all right. Sit on couch. On couch. There was no try. Right. Nick did. It's true. Password. Go get all your gross socks, Nick, and put them in the hamper, okay? Tight membrane. Cool. Push put button. On collar. Push button. Push button. Uh oh no. Oh, that's a doggo. Hold on. Our scores just went up by 100. Hold on, points. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we do that, we need to see the doggo. Okay, one second, let's see. Let's get the doggo on screen. I'm turning Nick off. Oh, everyone turns me off, unless they're a pipe. Oh my gosh, you're so cute! I know, but I still wanna see your dog. So freaking cute! That is a cute dog, I love it. I'm just it? waiting for the okay. to pop up on Sorry. screen. Sorry, oh. Are right, you ready, Nick? Nice. You press the button. The couch starts to hum with power and the collar begins to glow a dark blue. Everything around you fades to a milky white, then a picture begins to form. Oh, there's blue. 
Lewis being a trunk. 100 points. Murky blocks of black and brown begin to coalesce into the familiar walls of the gloomy cavern. Then suddenly, a small spinning pyramid of blue slashes across your field of vision. The Hechi virus slices into the darkness, tearing at the fabric of the virtual reality that the assassin has been maintaining. Slowly, the mask of darkness peels away, revealing an incredible sight beyond. This is hot. How many points do we even have? I don't know. I never did a score. If I were allowed to talk it, I would. A darkened cityscape spreads out below you, lit only by a glowing stream of red light that spread out like an intricate spider's web of evil. At the center of the web loops the dark, brooding presence of the assassin itself. The electronic intelligence is every bit as alive as you are. It seems to regard you with an angry malevolence, infuriated that you have invaded his realm. The spinning blue pyramid dives down toward one of the nodes where the streams of red light intersect. It impacts with a flash of intense blue light. Nothing happens for a second, but then you hear a high-pitched whine, and the blue begins to spread. It infects more and more of the scene until it reaches up into the assassin itself. Seconds later, the whine turns into a soul-wrenching scream, and the entire scene explodes in a searing flash of blue, a pure Is white light okay? that leaves you blinded. What happened to the sink? Oh, what, what sink? Oh, I was gonna piss some people. Oh no, so many pissing your sink. That's not good. Silence. Not good. My youngest is coming down again. Ever so slowly, you begin to recover your senses. The outlines of the Hee Chi travel pod from around you. Hey, baby, this I said I'd be in bed in a minute. Happens. Your hands are still in the black globe, but now it is cracked and lifeless. Okay, okay. The hatch falls open, and you insert the collar into the wall of circuitry. It glows a faint blue, and you realize that the assassin's stored warning has been replaced by the all-clear message. The travel pod returns you to the Guardian, where you find that your ship is once again operable. Nice. You enter the course code for Gateway and return again to a hero's welcome a second time, but this time it's real. It's real. After your debriefing sessions, word of your mission gets out, and you become uh, the toast not only of Gateway, but the entire Earth. You never again meet the mysterious man who offered you the bonus money for completing the missions, but one week after you return, you wake up and discover that overnight your account has been quietly credited $25 million. <laughs> You've attained, you the you've attained the dream. Go ahead. You've attained the dream. Which you're famous. We'll then the parade stop and the cheering fades, and you, you have to reflect on your adventures. It occurs to you that the virtual personality talked about the Hechi as if they were still alive. Ooh. Okay. Although the assassin sentinel is dead, and the earth is safe for now, the realization slowly sinks in that the watchtower itself is only an outpost, an active probe sending back daily reports to the most destructive race of the universe as ever known. The assassins are still out there. Mm -hmm. They are us. Somewhere. Somewhere. Nick, there is a gateway too. Design and implementation of part one, gateway prospector Mike Verdu, Dwayne Beck. So. Design and implementation of part two, other worlds, Michael Linder, Bob Bates. Design and implementation. Oh, these are literally three different games. No. Yeah. Mm. Design and implementation was by different folks each time. Yeah. So, Nick, I'm going to talk to you real quick about my my thoughts and feelings on this. So when we had first played that last day on Saturday, my brain was very much in your position of this game is never going to end. This this is an endless, this is a GG now. Thank you, Lip. Um, I left my ass off of the game, backpedaled halfway through the credits. We did beat it. And let me tell you, so when I played on Saturday with you, when we were finished, I was, or Friday or whatever day we played it, when we were finished, I was very much in your position or your mindset of, oh, this game is a game that will just never end. Oh, it's just like uh, Zorg 3. And then I stopped for a second. And it was, we we were rushed to complete the game. We thought we were near the end. We weren't. But because we had that preconceived notion blocking our, our perspective. I don't, I don't think it was just a preconceived notion. I think that structurally the game implied that it was about to end. See, it was, and that we were about to get the reward of being done. We it, missed something. We did. 11 points missed. We're never going to figure out what no, that was. No. Um, but let me let me let me let me finish the thought here real quick. Because 
everything was leading up to this moment and it was like they prepared you for the final game segments the vr training teaching you how to uh because you can to get, do the vr the banana daiquiri puzzle in order to get mm -hmm. access to the uh to the special place outside of the casino right and that introduces you to the how to break the vr stuff the reason as to why they make you do these deep psych go full screen on our faces we don't have to keep this is true there. um the the reason why we have to do the deep psych is to um reaffirm and reintroduce that vr moment again in your brain so that way when you do that final segment that you understand quite quickly that you're in vr and that you have to break those things um, I will say that I do feel that the the weakest point, if they had just removed the hell section, that would have been a great ending. That would have been would have been fine pacing wise. I do think that the so, casino's not bad, and I don't think that hell's bad either. But having those two, and then that final one as well, if they had just removed the hell one and just had the casino and then like, hey you did it you beat it now you're on gate back at gateway and you're a hero time to get some sleep and thus you know you're not actually and that's the real final segment i feel that that's fine because it was part three we literally part three was literally we're on the spaceship we talk to the alien we do the vr and like and like all that stuff like that's that's it it was actually really short in comparison to the whole grand grand scheme don't don't listen to don't worry about it. Your shop media. Nick Nick knows not his 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 infocom is just text adventure folder. <laughs> um, what did I do? Lip says that the game did indicate that there was a fair amount of stuff left. It began that whole segment with a part three title. That's exactly it. Well, um, yeah, but th that's true. But that I got mad when that title came up. That is when I was enraged. The, that title peeved me. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Why don't you get your toothbrush and give it just a little brush, okay? You got some toothpaste there. I'll home and help you in just a minute. I'm almost done. Just two minutes, okay? I'll be right there, okay? Love you. Yeah, her Are teeth's hurting. She has a toothache. And so she's going to see the dentist next week. Um. Oh. So, yeah. And again, that frustration that you're feeling of this game should end comes far more with our belief that we were closer than we really were. But if you take a step back... Why do I still have... No. I have. Really? I've entertained the thought. I still hate it. Yeah. Okay. So part still one like... was literally orientation. I, doing... I hated the casino. Conceptually. I yeah. hated it. Really? Why? Because I don't know. It was gaudy. It was ugly. The game's... I don't know. It was meant it to wasn't be. Like, it wasn't like the the beach bar where yeah. there was a guy who was providing me daiquiris and I was getting increasingly drunk. Yeah. And it was just weird and absurd. It, it wasn't that. It's okay. Yeah. I, I just, I, I didn't, it was the first time I looked at the game and I didn't like how it looked. Yeah. It was the first set of, and there were a number, I think you're forgetting the number of things that, the number of red herrings we fell for, mm. that we yeah. spent a lot of time on. I We didn't really, because we didn't spend as time as you we think. Did. We spent like over an hour. It's okay, baby. Um, we spent like uh, at least. An hour is not that long in the grand scheme of a <laughs> gameplay. Let me, let me tell you how this game broke down. We had to do our orientation, right? We then went to two planets, and that's mm -hmm. the end of part one. Then we mm -hmm. got uh, the uh, then we got our our special pass, and yeah. we learned about our mission, uh -huh. which we had to then go to four planets uh -huh. and solve puzzles there. That's the end of part two, and uh -huh. then part three was we had to go through three different scenarios to overcome three self-contained puzzles, and then we beat mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at no point throughout parts one and two was I ever upset. I do, even in the complicated puzzles. I don't know. I don't. Even I think you're. Ones, I think you're conflag conflagrating the the severity of the issue of its pacing. 
I think you're making it think that it's a lot worse than it really is. It, I mean, it felt bad, especially the double fake out. Yeah. Because it did sort of want you to think that the game would be done. Like, it implied to you that you did the thing, the game would be finished. Yeah. So that is a risk. That is a risky move. Yeah. And that, like, you are setting up that oxytocin high to, like, cause the player to either go, oh, there's more, or why the hell am I not finished? I thought I was done. And you're going the opposite of what I did. Yes. I I feel like there are binaries here. Yes. Where you're either going to find that fun or you're going to find it crap. And I didn't like it. Yeah. And then I especially didn't like it the second time. Well, you're wrong. They, had, they, I, no, I don't think I'm wrong. I, I think I have a different subjective experience than you. This is, is true. This is true. It is true. You're correct. <laughs> it's fine and fair. I, I think overall the game is a good game. Well, the, I wouldn't the, suggest the, that people not play it. The, the um, yeah, the podcast. I might the... warn them that it won't be finished. Easily. What do you think it is? The podcast we're going to record about this one in particular is going to be a very interesting and heated one. <laughs> lip, lip is right. That is, oh, it, it, the game was edging me and I was upset All right. at the edging. All right. All right. I'm going to be done right now. We got to go. I got to go raid somebody. Hold on. All right. Um, let me see who is on and we're going to raid them and I have to go. Uh, I'll be back to play more World of Warcraft soon. And then we're going to talk about a future game here sometime, Nick. We're going to play um, <laughs> Counterfeit Monkey next. Monkeys, right. Yeah. What's that now? Earshot uh, Media pointed out that one of those things wasn't a red herring. Yeah, exactly. All right, reading the combat king. Uh, I will be let let me know. I gotta go take care of my kid. I'll be in the chat in just a minute, and I will talk to you later. As always, to humor. Thank you, Nick, for playing. I love you very much, and I know we have our differences, but you're the best. Goodbye. Bye.